So, hey, welcome everyone. Um, this is um, a year since I first released my book, uh, Courageous, and so it felt like it needed to do something to mark um, the occasion and to just celebrate the moment rather than just let it pass. And so I invited my really, really good friend, uh, coach, consultant, mentor, Christine Slater, to come, to come and join me. And because she's been such a huge part of my journey, and I consider her one of the greatest people to be around and spend time with. And so... Uh, really wanted to just welcome her and just kind of talk a little bit because we met a year ago, 18 months, not quite, so 16 months, something like that. And that other than the challenge that Christine was running called She Meets Her Voice. And I would love you just to say hi and tell us a bit about the challenge and the kind of things that you do. Oh, thanks, Sarah, so much. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. And no, we've never met in person. I am actually looking forward to the day, not where we can just embrace and hug, but that I get to just spend time with you in person. Yes. Like that. This is going to be such a highlight. So I am so looking forward. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, that we get to celebrate you and celebrate where you, what, the, the, the moment that you realize something about yourself was just this time last year yeah it's just a year a little over a year because it was it was two weeks before your 40th birthday party yes right? and you had a goal and I was honored to be a part of that mm. and so in she meets we co-create with people with God Right. So it was so exciting to join arms and, and help you co-create a dream that you were already had completed. You already had it completed. There was just a little, a little thing that you needed to kind of overcome, uh, open the door to. I know, but it didn't feel little. It felt like a huge, like, how on earth am I going to do this? So, and so what was that for you? I think you know, Christine, one of the things you do is you come alongside people and you, I feel like you call out of them what God has, like, put on them. And and I, <laughs> yes, sometimes it's call, calling out and sometimes it's pushing forward. <laughs> but that kind of, um, I think I've just got a little bit stuck around, am I actually an author or am I just, you know, is this just my story that I've written down for my own benefit? Am I is that who who I am and I think I'd I hadn't had the courage of the community around me to say yes do it and uh, I, we were talking just beforehand weren't we around the it's it's courage and community together that is where like the magic happens and and I think it was courage to write the story but I didn't have the community and I needed that and that's you know isn't it amazing how God provided that? I'm in the UK, you're in Canada. Who knows how I actually came across the challenge other than I just kind of signed up. And here you are on the opposite side of the world cheering for me in a way that I just have never experienced before. I'm so grateful. I'm so yeah. grateful. But isn't, isn't that amazing? Like people people want to be cheered on. Right. And so I was very, very lonely and I'm an introvert extrovert and my extrovert was getting dragged. <laughs> and I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to go out and cheer on people. And God said, okay, I want you to go on Facebook and love on five people a day. I'm like, I don't even like Facebook, God. <laughs> and so really that's kind of where it kind of, you know, I, I had women's things before that. Um, but it was in that moment that I worked for years at just getting up and doing the five, just yeah. encouraging five, taking five people I didn't even like and encourage them. And then it's like, oh, this is so easy. And then once you start doing something, it just becomes the norm. Yes. Right. Um, and and it's and then helping people really is is they usually are just stuck. And so it's like, God, can we co-create together? And that's kind of what she needs us about is just like helping get women unstuck. And how do they get unstuck? By getting into action. Yeah. Right? And you got into action. You already. Da, 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 da. Ah! 
I love this book. Um, you had already written it, didn't you? Yes. You had already wrote it. Written it? Wrote it? Anyway. It. Um, you already had uh, wrote, you had it, but it was stuck somewhere yeah. in someone else's hand, really, right? Yeah. Which was good, but it needed to get unstuck. And within two weeks, what did you do? <laughs> in two weeks, we designed the cover. We got it on Amazon. We self-published. Uh, we set up a website, social media stuff. And I had to do the thing of going, do you know what? It's author Sarah Parkinson. And it felt so like cringy to do it. But it was part of me getting unstuck was to say, do you know what? This is part of who God's made me to be. And if I don't, if I don't say it, I'm going to hide behind it. And actually it's part of who I am. And so, yeah, two weeks, we did all of that. You did. You did it. I watched this woman, people. I watched Sarah, three kids, a husband, still, you know, and pastor and all these other things that you are in the midnight hours in the little times of the day, in the pockets of her day, you know, I always kind of hated that same, same, but that really was it. It's true. You, you were like trying to figure this out and how was it going to fit? And you were like, the measurements just weren't working. And I'm like, this girl, she's got some tenacity. And, but that, see, that's the kind of woman I want to work with, you know, that you're tenacious. You just need someone to come alongside you and grab your arm and say, let's do this. This is a desire of your heart. Let's make it happen. God whispers in the roar of adversity. Yeah. Like you can't get any better than this. Like this is about, this is your life work. This is, this is why and who you are today. This is your family. This is, yeah. this is, this is, this has been an incredible tool that you're going to use for the rest of your life. Yeah. And I am so thankful for it. I'm so thankful that you got out of your own way that day. <laughs> It was a tough day for you. It was a tough minute. Okay. It was like one minute. I'm going to go back and look at that video someday. <laughs> so Christine and I were in a, in a conversation and uh, Christine was like, what is the vision? And I was like, I can't. And so I was having this whole internal, I can't be so bold as to say exactly what it is. I, I feel God's called me to do. And I just got like, no, get out of my face. Here's this Canadian. He's asking me the questions that I'm just like very British, feel like I'm trying to withdraw. And actually it was the best thing that could have happened because it was this moment where actually even now I can, I can go back and go, do you know what God spoke to me? And God said, you are an author whose books will live in the hands of those bringing life and hope and healing. And I'm like, that's, that's part of who I'm called to be. Um, but I couldn't have got there without people around us. And, I, you know, one of the things that, Christine, you, you model, just, it blows me away. I've never seen it anywhere else. But And I don't think it was you that actually said this phrase, but it stuck with me. Um, when we are around one another with similar giftings, we're not competing with one another. Actually, we're completing each other. And that, to me, like, sums up so much of what you've demonstrated that that you would come alongside others and complete what God has begun I mean unpack that because that to me is just gold in a in a bit well and that was Trisha Burns uh, yeah was. Trisha Burns yeah she said it and I mean we have heard it before but it was just the way she said it that was like oh my goodness because why because women want have have a we don't compete against men we compete against one another right <laughs> and it's it's not only ungodly it actually tears us apart and when we come and we complete one another there there's things in this world i'll never be able to do i have no desire to write a book right but i would love to come alongside you and see you write your book because yeah. that's what god pre-assigned for you to do in this earth so that you could then go help other people who need to be courageous in the worst adversity ever. Yeah. And, and it's, and it's so, if we could just celebrate one another's uniqueness, 
right? Like if we could just celebrate, if we could just celebrate um, one another's uniqueness, then we can celebrate our own. Yeah. We can celebrate our own. And when we learn to celebrate who God created us to be, and then we celebrate how, how God created others, like that's family. And, and she needs, we get people into action and we start, we even like, you know, we, we deal with a lot of offense. We just finished a challenge where there was a fence, literally a fence. <laughs> oh, and it's, you know, you know, there's a saying fear is the door. Fear yeah. is fear is the door. Open the door, open the fence and there's freedom. You just need someone to come alongside you and help you. And that's all I did that day. You know, that's literally all I did that day. But I think for me, we were, you know, reflecting on what the last year has been like and, you know, that whole, just the difference a year has made and how I think up until that point, fear had always been the point where I stopped and fear had always been the moment where I was like, okay, here's the end of the road. And actually from, from now on, fear is like, oh, hang on a minute there's what's beyond that like if I can just get through to the other side of fear it doesn't have to be the full stop it's always been and and thank you for helping me push through to that because you know we were talking you know we're in the middle of renovating a house at the minute and it's absolutely bonkers we're taking on but I would never have done it I would have absolutely not have done it my first reaction when I walked into that house was absolute fear and then I went away and went God, I think you've promised this to us. So what am I going to do? Am I going to stop with the fear or am I going to push through? And, yeah. and that's what, you, you know, the community, that's, that's what it gives you is that ability to go, actually fear isn't the end point. It's, yeah. it's the pushing through. And, and what the, what, get excited about that fear because that, when you start to fear, face that fear, really it's the potential of who you can be it's the potential of who you are on the other side of that door and for you it was becoming an author right oh my goodness if i actually walked and announced that i was an author and actually announced what my assignment was here on this earth was to to write and to become an author um like wow that's a lot of potential that's like that that's scary to people the potential of actually who god created you to be is actually fearfully fearful why because you were fearfully and wonderfully made (laughs) and the enemy flips it for us yeah and it's and it's just and and the cool thing i was just sharing this with you too is i think you've come into your you, you just needed that little help walking through that door And I'm honored, so honored that she meets was there for you in that moment. Like, absolutely like, wow, thank you, God. That was so amazing. Because what it did was it opened up the authority. Yeah. And and we talked about this. It's just when you became an, an, and you said, I am an author. And you you said it with confidence. You said it with courage. Yeah. It opened the door to your authority. Yeah. And you, you know, you even said, you know, you, you see life as a mother differently. You see life in your being a pastor differently as a wife, because you were walking in that incredible authority. Yeah. I, I it feels like I, I been able to just embrace something of who I am that I was a bit embarrassed about. Um, and, and actually, I, I love seeing your posts and I <laughs> love, because it was like, you became an author and we got to open the pages to see who you were. Yeah. And those posts and the things that you post on your website and in on your blogs and on your, you know, your social media is like, Oh, Oh, I like you. I like you. I love, even when you're going through hard times, you know, and, and your photography is amazing like you've just got so much skill and it's it's exciting but But even but even like um I started painting 
like that, I mean how random was that but that was part of like just unlocking and being okay with who I am and finding things and so it's just interesting isn't it when you yeah. embrace that what else kind of attaches on and it's about getting into action and so that's an, uh, one thing we talk about in she meets is a lot is I had taken a zillion courses <laughs> on self-esteem I was just looking at all my courses downstairs self-esteem 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 all the books I have self-esteem self-esteem <laughs> and you know what I had the lowest self-esteem and I'd been to all these courses I'm like okay god what's the deal here and he's like, Christine, go do what I told you to do. <laughs> and it's just get into action. Yeah. And me, and me reaching out to people, encouraging them, yeah. being their cheerleader was getting into action. And it just catapulted. It just yeah. catapulted. And I got confidence. I got courageous. And it's all because you have you just, I encourage you if you're listening to this, just just get into action yes just do it you know nike just do it it's true just get into it you know i love this you know you talk a lot about obedience yeah in this book and the obedience it took for you to do and write all this like you had to be obedient to to get to go through that because it took two weeks to turn to to make your dream come to reality you had already yeah. written a book but to get it out there and on amazon so it's for all you guys to buy um, and obedience is a challenge we all face and a choice we daily make. I think right now that some areas where I know God is asking me not to compromise and to work hard. And my choice must be to say yes to his call. Obedience is about trusting, right? Is yeah. it easy to trust God, but maybe not trust ourselves? And so one of the questions I wrote beside this is, is because a question will always open the door. And so maybe you need a door today if you're listening to this. And it's like, when was your, um, when was a time you were courageous with your voice? Because what happened was Sarah came in on the, she meets her voice challenge. That's what attracted her. She knew she had a voice. Mm -hmm. And how did she get her voice activated? Was becoming an author. And look where it's brought her now. Yeah. yeah, and just encourage you, if you are watching this, you know, and you are like, oh, I have something to say, but I don't know how, just be obedient. What's the, the next thing? The next thing. You don't have to have it all mapped out. God, God provides all of that stuff. But, but if you... It's much easier for God to move us when we walk in, <laughs> you know, if we're not making any progress forward. And, and so just really encourage you, if you feel like you need a voice, you want your voice to be heard, like get around some people. I know a number of people have reached out to me and said, hey, I've, I've got a book that I'm like, well, get it out there. Like, you know, I'm more than happy to have conversations and uh, you can do better than uh, looking up She Meets as well. And if you're a lady sorry guys it, you know it, it's a ladies group but but if, if you are a lady that you would like to connect I I cannot I cannot recommend enough Christine the she meets gang oh. all of the ladies that that are part of that but Christine you know we could chat for for ages and ages but I I wanted to ask you um one question because I wanted you know I want to glean from you one more time when you when you have to be uh, courageous, what does courage look like in your life? And how have you been courageous? Yeah, that is a really good question. <laughs> and I didn't have time to think about this. Um, but if I would say is literally just smile and step. Point in case, does there, if you know the game Minecraft, there's a funny story be behind my son and Minecraft and me. But I was playing with my son the other day because I wanted to speak his love language. But one thing I noticed in Minecraft is you have to take a step before the step appears. Ah. I'm like, that is so God. There is a sermon in Minecraft and it's Minecraft, not Minecraft. Okay. <laughs> so there's a joke behind that. But anyways, and it literally in, in this game, you have to take a step with your avatar before a step appears. Yes. That's courage. 
That's what it takes to be courageous is to just take the step knowing that God is going to be there for you. Yes. Take the step and trust him that he's going to be there for you. I love that. I love that. That is so it. And Christine, would you do us the honor of just praying for us or just for whoever's, whoever ends up watching, whatever season of life they're in, that they would have the courage to step before the step appears. Um, that would be amazing. I'd really appreciate it. Yes. First of all, I want to thank you too, Sarah. I am honored you're in your, you, you kind of pop into She Meets every once in a while for, with your wisdom and insight. And we just so like, yay, Sarah's there. <laughs> oh, you're such a joy. You're such a, you're such a, a, a such a joy when you come. Um, so Lord, I thank you. I thank you for the people that are listening to this right now. And I thank you that you have placed them in this right now. Um, this time you have placed them here because they need a little push. <laughs> they need a little bit of encouragement. Push, I mean encouragement. They need a little cheering on. And so Father, I release courage. I release joy. I release excitement. I release courage that they would have the heart full of, that you would fill their heart with the courageous spirit that you would fill them with tenacity, that you would fill them with hope, that you have a plan and a purpose and an assignment, that there is such a time as this, that they are born for such a reason for, to be created, to be released at this time. And so Father God, we thank you that you are with them. You can't get more in than in. One of my mentors, um, uh, Julia Winston, Christ is in you. You can't get more in than in. You can't get more in than in people. He's in you. And so we release and bless the manifestation of, of Jesus Christ. Healing manifestation, courageous manifestation be released in you and over you in Jesus name. And we thank God for you. We thank God that you are here, that you are listening to it. And just go ahead right now, smile, get those endorphins going, take that step, trust that he's going to be there and let us know what happens because it encourages us. So wherever this is, just, in, you know, come back and go, I did it. I took a step and this is what happened because you are going to now encourage somebody else. Oh, this is so amazing. Thank you so much, Christine. And um, yeah, so a year since we released the book and um, just really wanted to give um, introduce you to Christine and um, say thank you so much for everyone who's bought the book, read the book. If you've not bought it yet, it's on Amazon. You can grab it. Um, but I hope the book is part of helping you on your journey of courage because that's what it was always meant to be, allowing you to take the next step. And so thank you so much, um, Christine. So I appreciate you. And then um, we will end it there. Um, but thank you, everyone. And a year on, so have a little woohoo and a little- Congratulations. Way to go, Sarah. One year. Woohoo. Yay.